Mr. Buffett, how can I make $30 billion? Start young. <laughs> Charlie's always said that the, the big thing about it is we, we uh, started building this little snowball on top of a very long hill. So we started at a very early age in rolling the snowball down. And of course, the snowball, the nature of compound interest is it behaves like a snowball, a sticky snow. And, and uh, the trick is to have a very long hill, which means either starting very young or living very, to be very old. The, I, you know, I would do it exactly the same way if I were doing it in the investment world. I mean, if I were getting out of school today and I had $10,000 to invest, I'd I'd start with EAs. I would start, I would start going right through companies, and I, I probably would focus on smaller companies because I would be working with smaller sums and there's more chance that something is overlooked in that arena. Uh, and as Charlie has said earlier, it won't be like doing that in 1951 uh, when you could leaf through and find all kinds of things that, that just leapt off the page at you. But that's the only way to do it. I mean, you have to buy businesses. And you, or little pieces of businesses called stocks, and you have to buy them at attractive prices, and, and you have to buy them, in, you have to buy into good businesses, and that advice will be the same 100 years from now in terms of investing. That's that's what it's all about, and you can't expect anybody else to do it for you. I mean, uh, uh, people will not, they will not tell you about uh, uh, wonderful little investments. There's, it's it's not the way the investment business is set up. When I first visited Geico in January of 1951, I, sub I went back to Columbia, and I, that rest of that year, I subsequently went down to Blythe and Company, and uh, actually to, um, to one other firm that was a leading Geyer and Company that was a leading analyst in insurance. And you know, I thought I'd discovered this wonderful thing, and I'd see what these great investment houses that specialized in insurance stocks said, and they said I. I didn't know what I was talking about. You know, they, they, it wasn't of any interest to them. You've got to follow your own. You know, you, you've got to learn what you what you know and what you don't know. And within the arena of what you know, you have to just you have to you have to pursue it very vigorously and and act on it when you find it. And you can't look around for people to agree with you. You can't look around for people to even know what you're talking about. You know, you have to you have to uh, you have to think for yourself. And if you do, you'll find things.